Aside from looking unsightly, the reason that you want to vacuum the debris that's on the bottom of your swimming pool is any organic debris in the pool is going to be uh, actively oxidized by the chlorine that's in your water. So what you'll end up doing is you'll end up depleting the free chlorine that you have available as it oxidizes the organic debris and then you're going to need to add more chlorine to the water to to make sure that you have uh, free chlorine levels above one part per million at all times. The advantage of removing all the physical debris in the bottom of your pool is then you're not expecting the chlorine to try to get rid of it. Uh, the idea with chlorine is that it should be used to keep the water safe in terms of bacteria and small physical debris that's in the water. But large debris like sticks and leaves and things like that is something that you should be removing with a, uh, a manual vacuum or an automatic pool vacuum. The, in today's day and age, people want to use less chemicals in their pool. It's uh, Using chlorine is actually something of a safeguard that swimming pool owners, th it sounds bad, you want to not use chlorine, but the truth is, is that you do want to use chlorine. You absolutely want to have chlorine in your swimming pool because that's what makes it safe for you to use. But what you want to do is use the minimum amount possible. And one of the ways that you do that is by making sure that you never have a, a surplus of physical debris or leaves or sticks or anything like that in your swimming pool floating on the surface or sunk to the bottom. So if you notice that you have debris on the bottom of your swimming pool, you should vacuum it up as soon as possible to prevent from having to add more chlorine to deal with it. If this information was helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.